as with all secret societies, you have levels, and, and if you're on the lower levels, you don't even know they're upper levels. You don't even, you don't even, they don't even tell you. You bump into it by accident or someone comes along. Now, in Scottish Rite, that's something different, you know, because they know that there's a... But before then, and basically secret societies such as, let's go to ancient Egypt. To the ancient Egyptians, the priest would tell the serfs, the guys that tilled the land, they would say, the sun is God, okay? And, and, and so the, they accepted that very um, low-level interpretation, all physical. That's not what the priest believed. But the priest believed there was a second level. Um, the priest believed that, nope, the physical sun is not the supreme being. It's the spirit which flows through the physical sun that is the supreme deity. However, there was another level. And the priest didn't even know it. It's those that were involved and, and, and elevated to... To, um, if I would have told you this 15 years ago, I might have gotten shot. But this is now, I'm so glad now that this is easy to talk about. Um, the, the third level, which was, the, which was a better, a higher level of understanding, said, nope, it's not, that's not the sun. The sun is not the supreme deity. Nope, yes, spiritual energies come through the sun. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is the star Sirius. Uh, the dog star the dog star because the dog star was everything to the ancient Egyptians Sirius is said to have been the most important star in the ancient world it was considered the brightest star in the heavens, many times brighter than the sun. The Great Pyramid was built to synchronize with Sirius so that the light of the star would shine into the queen's chamber, supposedly to cast a beam upon an initiate during a ritual. Sirius is considered to be the, the dog star it's considered to be the most evil star in the Egyptian pantheon. And the reason for this is because in ancient Egypt they depended on the Nile. And during the time when Sirius is in its ascendancy, which is in late July and early August, was the, was the time of drought, it was a time when the Nile was at its most, uh, its most weak in terms of being able to be used for crops. And so the Egyptians thought this is a time of blasted blight, drought, and evil. It seems strange then that Sirius should be related to the founding of America. According to Masonic author David Ovison, the Declaration of Independence was signed when the sun was in alignment with Sirius in July of 1776. It is, however, appropriate that Sirius should be related to the most Egyptian styled icon in America's capital city, the Washington Monument. Ovison writes that in 1848, when the cornerstone of the Washington Monument was laid, the sun would have passed over Sirius. He goes on to say that in the course of the ceremonial, the star Sirius would have been seen on the eastern horizon. It would have been rising over the Capitol building to the east of the monument. The monument itself was originally designed by Freemason architect Robert Mills. Mills was trained by two fellow Masons, James Hoban, who designed the White House, and Benjamin Latrobe, who designed the U.S. Capitol. 